what's up guys so uh today's wednesday july 3rd so i think it's been two or three days since i've uh, made my last video uh really what i've just been doing i went ahead and finished off that load i was doing down in klamath falls up to uh to the dows and hood river and made it over to the terminal late that night well it was about eight o'clock monday night <coughs> And um, I actually ate Chinese food, so uh, I cheated on my diet. I think y'all need to hold me a little more accountable. But uh, yeah, I called Grubhub. Actually, I think it was Uber Eats. And uh, they brought me some Chinese food from a local place. And then woke up early the next morning and headed south. Um, <clears throat> this load I have I've got 10 stops. Uh, I got off one, two, three, four, five yesterday, and I'm working on my six today down here in Grants Pass, Oregon. Then headed down to Medford to get the, the final ones off, and then I'm going to. It looks like I'm going to need fuel sometime today, so I'm going to probably stop down there at the, uh, the Petro in Medford. And then. Uh, Turn around and head back up north to the terminal. I should be there tonight, uh, Wednesday night. And then I don't think I'm getting a load until uh, the. I don't think I'm getting a load to deliver until Friday. But I'm going to call them today and uh, get that arranged so uh, I can leave tomorrow and be at my uh, destination Friday morning ready to deliver. But, yeah, uh, yesterday was a pretty cool day. I went to some places I've never been before. I went, uh, I think, I, uh, I went to Longview, Washington, and then I hit, uh, I went over to St. Helen, Oregon, which, uh, was down a nice little two-road, or two-lane back road, so that was, uh, interesting, and then, from there, I went over to Beaverton, Oregon, and popped out on uh, I-5 and hit I-5 South over to uh, Roseburg, I believe. But and then last night when I uh, got stopped, I stopped here at Heaven on Earth. Uh, it's not a truck stop or anything. It's they've got truck parking, probably enough for like 20 trucks or so. It's on uh, Trucker Path if you look for it, but. The food is delicious. The music choice isn't the greatest, but uh, I had another cheat day. I just, uh, I was really craving a uh, cheeseburger, so I got a double cheeseburger. I had bacon, and it's by far uh, the best cheeseburger I've had in a really long time. So uh, I highly recommend it if you're ever in the area and you got some time, stop by uh, Heaven on Earth and try it out this is only my second time stopping here or second time eating here I might have stopped here once or twice more but yeah it's my second time eating here and uh the burger was delicious but it's uh 8 45 now my stop opens at, uh, at 9 so usually they have to finish uh, loading their truck and get it out of the loading dock before I can pull in so I've timed it to get there right at about uh, 9.10. So I'm going to get there, unload the 20-some pieces I have there, and then head down to uh, Medford. I'll talk to you guys later. So uh, I made it back to work up here in Puyallup. 
uh, went ahead and dropped my trailer. Uh, obviously, if I'm up here, I got everything unloaded today, so uh, that went well. Uh, however, I did have a problem. See, th so the dispatcher up here actually went out of town on vacation, and there's some lady filling in for him, and it's her first time dispatching. But I don't think she's a problem. I think the rest of the people in this office are the problem. I, this is kind of our um, problem child for the company. But So I came all the way up here because they were running behind on uh, getting their freight out. Well, I talked to the my dispatcher before he went on vacation, and you know I was going to do a two-day two load. Uh, well, I finished up my first load from... Friday and Monday so Monday I came up here grabbed my other load and then Tuesday and Wednesday I delivered it so today's Wednesday night and I was calling them today I was like uh, I was calling about my load for Friday because I was supposed to have a load on Friday and she's like yeah we're just uh, we don't have any freight right now so uh, we may come up with a, a half a load of freight on Friday or something which I'm not doing a half a load of freight. I can damn tell you that right now. And uh, so yeah, so I called my dispatcher back on the East Coast, and she's not happy about it, and I'm not happy about it. And it looks like I'm gonna be setting until fucking Monday morning, I suppose, since everybody's gonna be off tomorrow, which is why I was calling today to get. Uh, get it set up so I can leave tomorrow night Thursday night since it's the fourth and uh, Stage somewhere that's pretty close to uh, where I'm gonna start Friday morning which obviously didn't freaking work out like that and So like this whole week I Did the load up here, which I think it plays uh, Since it wasn't any stops and it was just dropping the trailer off here at the yard I think it only pays a flat rate of like forty one or forty two hundred dollars, something like that. And you know, I only get sixty five percent of that. Or maybe it's forty two hundred to the truck. I'm not sure. But so then I dropped that off. I did the second load which paid I think I told you guys it was like four forty two hundred, four thousand or right about the same. And I only get fifty percent of that. And then, so, I left out on a Monday, and then I got that done on Monday. So, that's pretty much one week's worth of work. And then, Tuesday, I did this load, Tuesday and Wednesday. And it only paid 3800 or something like that, and I only get 50% of that. And now, I'm going to set for five days, so I've got two weeks tied up for nothing, really. I could have made that much money just running straight up here and straight back, but... So it's definitely frustrating. My dispatcher is going to see what she can do for me, but she definitely wasn't happy either because, yeah, they called. They need drivers. They were getting behind. They really need drivers up here. They got too much freight, too much freight. And now they're jerking me around. Obviously, you can tell I'm not too happy about it. Just thinking about it pisses me off. But... And obviously, since tomorrow's a holiday, all the uh, the trucks are in because apparently nobody else likes to do any work around here. So all the trucks are here. There's no parking spaces. So I just pulled up right in the parking for the um, the the workers that work here. I just pulled right up diagonal through like six of them. So uh, when they get here on Friday. Because I probably won't move my truck. They'll see me and uh, I'll get to talk to them first thing Friday morning. But, oh no, my phone. My new mount, the one I bought a couple weeks ago and I told you about in the vlog. It's not sticking anymore either. Is it still falling? It is still falling. Come on, get back up. I'll just put you in my hand then. So yeah, so that's the situations I've been running into. So I'm going to sit here for like four days. 
possibly. Hopefully get a load tomorrow, Friday. But I doubt that's going to happen. I did just order some Mexican food. So, this diet's really gone out the window for this week. But, I don't know. I could sit here and say I need it. I've had a, a headache with dealing with the office here. But, there's no point. That's just an excuse to be fat. But, yeah, so she couldn't help me. So I was like, well, let me get the uh, operations manager's phone number. And she's like, well, he's not here today. I was like, well, let me get his cell phone number. So she gives me his cell phone number, which I wasn't just going to go out and be a dick. So I talked to my dispatcher first, and she's the one that told me to freaking call uh, the operations manager and I did and he went straight to voicemail so apparently his freaking time is more important than mine but you can't just you can't ask for help and say you're really far behind and then when somebody gets here everybody takes vacation and you leave an owner operator sitting here for four days I mean damn it would have been good if I got to go home and spend time with my family for the 4th of July or whatever the hell people do but so yeah just ranting it's annoying but at the end of the day I guess it could always be worse it's not too bad and there went my mouth uh, I'm just going to watch Netflix I might probably drive over to uh, the Fred Myers which is right down the street and get some groceries or something tomorrow or the next day or Friday Saturday or Sunday I guess I have all the time in the world I might drive over to Harbor Freight uh, which I think is only like six miles away and I'll just drive over there bobtailed I've, I've already been there once so I kind of know I can get in and out but yeah, I'm going to sit here, edit a video, watch some Netflix, and probably go to sleep. I used uh, all but an hour and a half of my time, so I worked a good, what, 12 and a half hours today, which isn't too bad. And then uh, I think my fuel mileage went up to uh, 7.6, so that's good. I think this trip totaled, let me see. I'm right at 568,000 miles, and I started at 5,067, or 567,000, so that was right at 800 miles, give or take, so 800 miles, this load paid like 3,800 bucks, and then, you know, like I said, I get 50% of that, so it was a decent pay for two days but then you gotta look at instead of being two days my whole week is gone but alright yep yeah, that was what nine minutes and then uh, yep I did get to listen to a uh, Joe Rogan podcast on my way back up after I talked to uh some people on my phone for a little while, I uh, listened to the Duncan Trussell 1313 podcast with Joe Rogan, and uh, they definitely sounded pretty high at some points, but it was good. Uh, definitely makes you think. Well, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to put on the movie, and... Uh, Edit a video real quick. I'll see y'all later.